Hi, my name is Scott Thornton. I'm a member of Brocade Server Connectivity Team. I'm going to discuss with you why FCOE makes sense and how users can prepare for future connectivity with fiber channel over Ethernet. If we look at FCOE and why this technology was developed, we must start by taking a look at the server. Server technology over the years has continued to develop and servers today are capable of producing more and more I.O., consuming more and more bandwidth, and at the same time, utilizing more and more adapters in their servers. Even without I.O. intensive workloads, many of these servers today require anywhere from six to eight different network interface cards along with multiple host bus adapters. Management interfaces, backup software, failover software, things like VMware vMotion all add to the amount of bandwidth and the amount of I.O. processing that servers require today. So the question becomes, how do we address these issues that customers are facing? And a simple answer to that is FCOE and the use of a CNA. The Brocade CNAs already offer next generation performance benefits along with a single pane of glass for management that allows users to simply phase in these converged network adapters and bring in the fiber channel of Ethernet technology that they're interested in moving towards in the future. Server I.O. bandwidth constraints can easily be alleviated with the use of a single dual port CNA such as a Brocade 1020. Brocade also allows customers to carve out sections of their bandwidth and allocate it towards specific traffic types. Brocade CNAs offer unified fiber channel and fiber channel over Ethernet driver stacks. This means that customers can use the same driver stack for both our host bus adapters and our converged network adapters. This simple management interface allows users to easily prepare for the future. Customers running Brocade HBAs today can simply swap the Brocade HBA for a Brocade CNA. They can also swap their NICs and HBAs, stick in Brocade CNAs, and be up and running in the FCOE arena. FCOE does not require a rip and replace migration in the data center in order to be deployed. You may simply phase your FCOE products in. Considering that FCOE is relatively new technology, the easiest place for organizations to start preparing for fiber channel over Ethernet is with the server and the CNA. Fiber channel over Ethernet will continue to evolve down the road, but it's best suited today in a CNA connected to a top of rack switch scenario. When further enhancements happen with FCOE, things like multipathing and multi multi hopping will be allowed, and these technologies will be developed in order to expand fiber channel over Ethernet from the server and the server rack out to the entire data center network. But until then, if you want to prepare for the future, start with the server and start with the CNA. In summer, you can see that it's very easy to prepare for fiber channel over Ethernet by utilizing a CNA. Brocade has made this move simple for our customers by providing a single management interface and a single driver stack in order to deploy both our host bus adapters and our converged network adapters. Thank <laughs> you.